welcome this is a new series we are explaining programs in this process and i request uh, you are logging into the account in studentcarner.co.in but unable to write the examinations this is the one condition we observed very clearly and the second important thing is some of them are uh, take the exam but not answered the all the, not answered all the questions and you are not spending much time on answering the questions so i request my appeal to you is take the entire test you have to spend complete time and you have to answer it and you know the key after completing the examination and compare the solutions with that with this i hope you understand my point and uh, watch mock test video completely then only you know how to write an exam some of them are uh, registered the account but they don't know how to uh, set up the tcs uh, process, tcs uh, category then only the exams are visible directly it is not visible so please take care and all the best for you so fibonacci series part 1 fibonacci series the fibonacci numbers are the numbers in the following integer sequence 0 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 2 3 2 3 5 3 5 8 5 8 13 so on it is mathematically we represent f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 with seed values of f of 0 is equal to 0 and f of 1 is equal to 1 here if we take n is equal to 7 then we need to print the value of first value is 0 and the second value is 1 and the next series will starts with 0 plus 1 1 and next the values are exchanged to first value is equal to 1 this second value is assigned to first value and the new value is assigned to second and again we need to sum it we will get the new result it is the process of fibonacci series so second next second value is 1 and next value is 2 and 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 again second value is 2 and the next value is 3 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 next Uh, second value is 3 and the new value next value is 5 3 plus 5 8 and the second value is 5 it changed to first value and next value is changed to second value 5 plus 8 13 if the user gives 7 then we need to print 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so regarding program fibonacci series printing so initially we take first value is 0 and second value is equal to 1 for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n we move to up to n i plus plus first we need to print the value of t1 next term is equal to t1 plus t2 now what we need to do we need to change t2 to t1 and new term to t2 so t1 is equal to t2 and t2 is equal to next term continuously working this loop until we reach the user entered value so here 5 and 0 1 1 2 3 is the output so we are also written same program in different ways we are indicating here in this fibonacci sequence up to a certain number means i am giving 15 up to 50 Uh, up to the sum of the 50 we need to print the values here everything is common the condition will be changed next term is less than equal to n that is the only change remaining things are almost all same similar to that so this is the se uh, second technique means instead of uh, writing a single code we need to call in a function so int fib int of n if n less than equal to 1 return n else here else is missing 
else written fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. So we need to call fib of n. n is always 5. We need to give different values, no issue. Similarly, dynamic programming technique. So in this dynamic programming technique, we need to store it in the form of arrays. Array. f of 0 is equal to 0, f of 1 is equal to 1. It starts with 2 and less than n. f of i is equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2. We need to store all the values sequentially. And here we are calling it, it the control comes to here and the process will going on continuously. And finally we need to return the array. So that array contains the entire sequence. Now this is using space optimized. Space optimized it is also similar. Uh, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. First number is equal to 0 and second number is equal to 1. If n is equal to 0, return a. Otherwise, for i is equal to 2, i less than n, i plus plus, c is equal to a plus b, a is equal to b and b is equal to c, we need to return the value of b. Continuously, it will be printing. So, when compared to all the logics, this is the efficient logic. So, using this formula, f of n is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 by 2 power n by root 5. If you using this formula, obviously we will get the results. So directly I am using this formula double phi is equal to first we need to find the value of this 1 plus root 5 by 2 after that we are adding we are multiplying with n by square root of 5. So here how is the function available in math.h to, to find power of anything. So secondly round is the function available in math to it rounds to certain number. Okay. So this is the way we are using it when compared to all the logics this is the efficient logic available in this Fibonacci series. Thank you.